well and welcome back to the channel. Today is ship day for the first batch of ECR randos that I have. I don't ship a lot of fish today because I had some, several actually get picked up locally. But uh, today it's about, it's about 8.30 in the morning and I have to get all the fish boxed up and ready to go to the post office. The first transport leaves at 11 o'clock. So all the fish have to be there and be processed by 11 o'clock to get on that first transport out of um, my town. So everybody's gotta be ready to go by then. And I usually give myself a little bit extra time because the post office here is usually pretty busy and it takes me a while to go all the way through and get through the line and all that. So I've already prior to this, yesterday I printed all my letters that I write to all the buyers. I have signed them all, put them in an envelope. I have pre-made all the boxes, put all the stickers on, printed my shipping labels and put those on. So now I've got to get the fish ready. So I've already fixed some double bags for these guys. Um, and I usually do most of this the night before just because in the morning, I don't like to be in a hurry. I don't like to be frenzying to get fish ready and all that just because things go a lot smoother when you're prepared. <laughs> so um, let's get started with fish. So the first thing you're gonna see me do is I'm gonna check the shipping label on the box and I'm going to look up the customer and see um, which fish they bought to make sure that I don't goof up and send uh, one customer the wrong fish, even though I usually know who bought who, but it's always nice to double check because I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> um, so once I know who's going where, I add fresh water to a double bag and the water that I'm using, I had just got um, it's clean water that I had uh, dechlorinated with Prime. And I also add a little bit extra Prime just for um, the trip there. Uh, it kind of helps buffer ammonia if there is any. Although the fish had been uh, fasted for 48 hours prior to shipping this morning. And so once I have the bag fixed with the water, I will go and catch the fish. And I have to be careful to catch the correct fish. Um, that is like one of my nightmares is sending someone the wrong fish. So I usually double and triple check as far as who's going where. And then after the fish is in, I add the pure oxygen to the bag. I usually fill it up one third water, two thirds air. And then usually, uh, it takes maybe 10, 15 seconds to get it as far as I want. And I use a standard medical grade uh, oxygen. Once I have it where I want it, I spin the bag and then kind of tie it, not really tie it, but I knotted the bag and then I tie it off with several rubber bands. And that's just kind of, some people I know do one rubber band, but I'm funky, I guess. And I just, I'm overly cautious. So I like to have several rubber bands just because some things happen in transport that you don't know about. The fish may get bumped or, you know, anything and rubber bands can let go. So I like to make sure that they have backups. And usually I tie them off about three times before I'm happy. I guess that's kind of my OCD thing, but there's one of the fish and I've tied off the inside bag and then I tie off the second bag separately. So I don't tie them together. Um, I've had issues with, for whatever reason, the tying both the bags at the same time causes um, deflation. So I tie them both separately and then 
I put them in the box and I have bubble wrap that goes around the bag itself. And then I fill the extra space with packing peanuts. So this helps not only insulate the fish, but it helps with keeping the fish in the center of the box. I don't want the fish to be um, moved around the box, turned upside down, uh, laying on its side, whatever. I want, I want the bag to be in the center of the box and stay that way. So there's kind of an idea there. And then I put in the handwritten envelope that I have, um, handwritten letter, I should say, in the box before I tape it up. And I usually tape pretty, pretty good. I, I like my tape. So I tape all the, the open edges and then once it's ready, I move it off to the side and I start everyone else the exact same way.
Here is go back, 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 back. those are going priority two day and the other one is going priority express one day so it's kind of important that they get there before the first 
uh, departed shuttle leaves because otherwise my post office would not ship them until like five o'clock this evening and you tend to run in with more delays that way so I think it's best to get them on the first shuttle out that way there's limited room for delay even though sometimes it happens but I buckled down a little bit on how I ship them this time I did some things different that I did last um, last time I had some trouble with bags being deflated so I did a test run this past week of two different bags and I um, tied them both differently and see who deflated first um, the first one the one I deflated, the one that deflated was actually one that I had tied um, and then knotted and it, it just didn't want to hold for whatever reason. So I did it this way, um, as you saw me doing the video and it held several days. So we're going to see how things go. Um, hopefully there will be no issues, no delays. It doesn't matter how many times that you ship fish. It's always nerve-wracking at least for me I'm always nervous I want to know when they're there when the customer has them in their hands and if everything is good so I don't think it ever gets easier but it's fun regardless to see their faces when they open the boxes um, for those that do unboxings for me it's always exciting to hear their voice um, and see how excited they are for these fish so that's all I have for you today and I'll see y'all next time